Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I'm Daniel and welcome to another episode of the João Almeida Pro Cyclist mode here on PCM and today as you can see we have Tour of Poland and let's just hope that this one is a much better episode than the last one because as you all know the last one was not our best episode but yeah we move on of course so let's see the stages for this race as you can see it is a 7 stage race and uh, it's not, it seems it's not that difficult in terms of climbing. We, we only have hills and not mountains, if you could, if you could say that. So yeah, first stage is a flat one for the sprinters for sure. Then another one for the sprinters on stage number two. And then we start the hills on stage number three and it, it ends on a uphill section. So it's for the punchers of course. Stage number four, the same thing, and we end on a on a bigger climb, as you can see here. So of course, and it, these are first category climbs, so it's not going to be that easy, I suppose. Stage number five, we took a little break. Stage number five is for the sprinters here. Uh, it seems like that. Then on stage number six again, full of hills, first, second, and third category climbs, all along the the stage. And then on stage number 7 it ends on a hill stage with an uphill section once again with a lot of first category climbs as you can see not easy so yeah it's a really it's a pretty much up and down terrain a lot of hills and um, it suits the characteristics of João Almeida I think so I think we are on a good position here to do something I don't know but yeah we'll see stage number one right here so it's for the sprinters for sure so let's go into the final kilometers and see what's going to happen and so guys here we are already inside the last five kilometers of the stage and I am at the wheel of Nasser Boani right here at the front and we have a little climb here but I don't know if it's going to make a difference I don't think so but who knows everyone stopped now so let's just try to go myself just see if I can do something, although I cannot and the sprinters are already gone. Let's start the sprint already. I didn't even use the energy gel. Oh well. In the front it is Howler. It is for Howler I believe. Yes it is. Always Howler is the winner. Ahead of Maximilian Schachmann and Alberto Dainese. So I think they consider a sprinter at least Dainese. Howler is uh, mixed. Rider and Joao Meda on an 8th position, so a top 10 for us, not that bad. And so guys, our Luis Aldar is the winner of stage number 1 of Tour of Poland and uh, ourselves Joao Meda on an 8th position and uh, Davide Ballarini behind us, the sprinter for our team at the 9th position, so yeah, very good results for us, not that bad really. And uh, we are on the top 10 of the general classification, so yeah. Let's go into stage number two and see what's going to happen because it's another sprint stage. And so guys, here we are on the last five kilometers once again for this stage number two. I'm at the wheel of somebody, I don't know who, but maybe I should go for Bohani because he's very far ahead. I use the energy gel this time. And they of course in the big fall in the peloton it seems Thomas again, Kroy Ziger and Amador are down. But I don't care, let's just launch our sprint ourselves just to be on a good position because this is for the sprinters of course let's just see now Ser Boeni was on a better position but doesn't have the energy and this one is for Alberto Dainese ahead of Sasha Modolo and Ulrich Olar once again I'm sorry if I botched this name and Joao Meda on his sixth position on his sprinter stage what the hell is this amazing by Joao Meda with 64 sprint amazing and so guys, once again, I think the, the placement that I'm having right now with Joao Maida looking for the right wheel is doing some good job because as you can see, we are in a top 10 on a sprinter stage and once again ahead of Davide Ballarini who is our sprinter. So that, that is a very good job of course. And on the general classification, although we were on a good position, we dropped from 10 to 11th place because somebody got some bonus second, it, it was Ryan Mullen I believe so yeah, that is not worrying, we are still on the top 15, 15 seconds behind a sprinter that is not going for the win of this Tour of Poland of course 
now we have stage number three and as you can see this is starts the real tour of Poland for the punchers and the climbers so this is it now and uh, let's see you Joao Meda is race the condition and if we can get a good result perhaps a win I don't know but we'll see and so guys here we are at the start of the stage and as you can see we have a minus two day which is not a good thing so let's see if we can get a good result today and so guys you are reaching the summit of the penultimate climb of the day at least the classified climb and uh, as you can see by my teammates the pace is really high right now some of them already lost the energy we have a big fall uh, some kilometers uh, behind uh, where Shackman was involved but everyone got together eventually and now of course there are being cuts in the peloton because uh, because of the mountains and the pace that we are having but yeah so far everything is cool with us we have a minus two of course but uh, yeah let's see the next climb if anything will happen if not let's just protect ourselves for the final kilometers and so guys the attacks are beginning Davide Formolo is the first to launch the the attacks Tim Wellens is following Dunbar now and uh, Nelson Oliveira as well so let's hope the other teams will cooperate and work because I don't have anybody to work and now it is David Godu that is attacking it seems and I don't know what to do really and now David Formola is attempting once again to attack as you are entering the last 10 kilometers of the stage and it is Tim Wellens that is responding to that and I don't think he's going anywhere so yeah and now it is Tim Wellens and David Godu that are attacking now Lawrence the board Steph the board I'm sorry and oh my god Joao might have just fallen with six kilometers to go oh my god what the hell just happened same moment and Joao Meda are fallen oh my god and thankfully we can continue but damn it we are right in the front and now we are not going to be even close to that damn it we are entering the last five kilometers oh my god really what the hell was that I don't even know what to say we are very we are on a bad luck streak really because this is not looking good for us and let's see on the finish line who is the winner and it is Yoni Zagiri Gorky Zagiri from NTT is the winner ahead of Tim Wellens, Kiatowski, Shackman and Timo Rosen and yeah Joao Almeida very far behind as we can see right here as we are entering the last kilometer my god I cannot believe it Joao Almeida it was at least on the front group but with that we are not we were 48 so very far behind damn it and so guys it seems that we are on a bit of a bad luck streak because it is the second episode in a row that we crashed and therefore we finish on the top 50 48 position two minutes down the winner Gorka Izaguirre and yeah I think our chances for the overall classification are over at least I think like that as you can see we are on 37 position right now on the overall classification so I mean we have some points we have two points on the mountain classification I don't know if there is a thing that we can fight for or try to because I don't know if uh, the peloton will let me go on the next stages to fight for that jersey but yeah very very unfortunate for João Almeida and so here we are for stage number four as you can see a lot of first category climbs and he finishes uphill so yeah like I said let's try to go into the breakaway for those KOM points and uh, see if the peloton let me go into the breakaway and fight for that because why not we are very far behind on the general classification let's just try to fight for that at least although I know that we are very far behind in terms of points we only have two points Jonathan Lastra have 41 so we are very far away from that but these climbs here 12 points each so if we score a bunch of them we can enter in the fight so yeah let's see if that is possible and so guys here we are at the start of the stage and uh, we are a teammate let's just see the race strategy we are a teammate of course because our classification so we have to finish on a top 20 of the general classification in the end but 
for now we need to work in front of a group with a teammate so that's what I'm going to do right now let's go to the front and work there for 25 kilometers and uh, yeah we have a we have a KOM intermediate sprint right here so I'm just going to put a pace myself and see if I can get those points because it's right here just five kilometers away as you can see and already some attacks so let's attack as well who cares and uh, because I want these points and uh, I just want to see if I can get this and it is Lastra the the man who is the lead on this classification that is in the front and in the peloton nobody is reacting it seems so I'm sure they are going to react but still let's just go at our pace here and see if I can and Lastra already without the energy so let's go just pass through Jonathan Lastra and see if we can uh, go for the, um, the the most points on this on this KOM classification right here on this intermediate sprint I'm sorry as you are on the last kilometer let's see if anybody else will catch us we have a guy from Alpecin getting close but it's not it's not enough so yeah here we are we are going to be the first on this so let's just pause it for a little bit and yeah here we are so now we get 12 points which is amazing and let's see if we can get into the breakaway and win more points and so guys we are on the breakaway with a teammate as you can see so yeah I'm working here at the front of this group but uh, it's not going very far away for at least from now because the peloton is reacting and is working to catch us so it's not looking great of course but I am working I already did some job in front of the group but I'm losing a lot of energy as well so that is not good of course and uh, I want some energy for the mountains to get the points so yeah I don't know how it is going to be and so guys I'm getting behind right here we are on the second classification of the the mountain and as you can see I'm behind because I could not handle the place because of the work that I did and now let's try to work here because we have a teammate here and uh, just to get our objective done but it seems that it's not going to be possible so yeah and uh, I'm just screwing everything up for the KOM jersey really at this point so it's not looking good for us and so guys I've just been caught by the peloton so no more breakaways for us let's see if I can work here on the peloton which I don't think we can do it because as you can see the rhythm is high and uh, I don't have much energy left and uh, maybe it's over for us for today as well I don't know but we'll see and so guys here we are here for the fourth climb of the day and uh, there are only two guys in the front so I'm trying to get into the front of the peloton with my own rhythm and see if I can get some points and uh, there are three guys not two in the front so let's try a cheeky attack here see if that is possible and now let's just work ourselves with some rhythm at least we got the first place that's a very good thing if that happens let's see if that is possible let's put down at just 99 to get a little more closer and yep 12 points for us so yeah this is very good because we are still in the fight for it at least a little bit we are now fourth place and let's just rest and see if I can regain energy for the next climb and here we are the next climb already and yeah I don't have the best energy I didn't recover as much as I wanted and uh, let's see if the peloton will stop for a little bit if not I don't think I can do it this time and so in the end guys it seems that we are going for the second place this time so that is not bad more points to us we are now third place and so guys before you start asking why I'm not working in front of the peloton since this is my objective for today as you can see I'm just completed 50% of the work but um, I'm going to tell you I am the best guy from our teammate on the general classification I know I'm at the 37th position so I'm very far behind but my teammates are behind are more behind than me so I'm the best on the general classification they are not even close to fight for any secondary jersey so I'm the best guy here for anything really so this time I will not work I will not sacrifice my position for the for the sake of doing an objective because 
I can and the, and I have the objective for the top 20 of the overall classification so I'm here for that and I'm going to preserve my energy for that of course and on this next climb maybe I will not push it too much because I want to have energy for the last climb so yeah uh, before you start thinking why I'm not working this is why really because I think I'm in a good position to get the, the final objective done that is the general classification the top 20 and so guys here we are on the last climb of the day before the final one with the points and uh, yeah as you can see I'm getting out of energy we are on the last kilometer let's just try to hold on here and uh, see what can we do if we can hold on or not it's getting very tight right now maybe I will push it just to see if I can get some points come on John can I do it just for the points and I don't think I'm first but I got some points so I'm third right now and why are you attacking stop thank you and yeah third place 42 points Sylvan Diddley with 61 we are in the fight for this jersey and now attacks David Godu is attacking and all of the other the favorites are attacking I cannot follow that of course I just got out of energy let's at least try to stay with the peloton oh my god this is not good at all come on I already used my energy gel I know I shouldn't do that but yep maybe the top 20 is going to be very difficult because of my choices but uh, we'll see if that is possible or not and so guys you're already on the last five kilometers I'm out of energy so this is not going to be for me for sure let's see what's going to happen things are very slow right now which is good but already Shackman is on the attack I cannot follow that so let's just put my pace really because I cannot do it and uh, yeah they are gone already come on Joan come on please I don't know who is going to be the winner let's just see if I can do it oh my god I just passed it I'm sorry guys let's just see and it is David Godou it seems yes David Godou is the winner ahead of Maximilian Schachmann and Tim Wellens and Cedric Gitti is coming as well but Joao Maida oh my god very far behind we are or we're not even on the finish line oh my god so yeah Florence Seneschal on the 18th position and myself as you can see very far behind we are going to end 32nd position for us so not a good result of course but uh, and now maybe we are not the best on our teammate but we are on the fight for the KON jersey and so here we are with the general classification Maximilian Schachmann is the new leader ahead of Tim Wellens and Kiatowski and ourselves let's see João made at 31st position so yeah we climbed some spots which is a good thing of course and uh, it's not that bad really so we are on the top 30 almost we need to climb 11 more spots at least that would be amazing and uh, on the climber classification as we can see we have 42 points Sylvain Delier with 61 points so we are on the fight for this jersey for sure but of course I cannot get in the breakaway because I only have 3 minutes and uh, 56 seconds I don't know if the peloton will let me go that's the thing so yeah let's go into stage number 5 and see what's going to happen and so on this stage number five it is a more quiet stage for the sprinters but we have some KOM points available so let's try to get those at least the first one it is a second category climb so I think it is 10 points no six points but still there are points so yeah it's right in the beginning of the stage so let's try to get those and then if we can do the others as well we are going to and so this time we are a free element so we can do whatever we want that is fine by me of course because at least we can do it for the, we can fight for the KOM jersey without getting worried about uh, anything else and uh, we have a plus one day so let's try to follow these attacks and uh, see if I can uh, get some points and so we are in the front with three guys with Delia and Ludvigsen and uh, we are three kilometers away from the the summit of the this KOM intermediate sprint and um, yeah let's just put a rhythm and already some attacks by Delia I don't know if I should follow the attacks or just put my pace but let's try to go with the attack and uh, 
now it's a time to just put a pace because I will not handle the attack because of the red energy and I, I, I'm doing so come on Joan just put your pace and we are going to pass at the front and I know Delia is going to score some points as well but at least we got the best ones we got more points 48 right now and Delia with 65 we are getting closer and the guys in the back won't let us go away they are working very very hard to catch us we are only have 35 seconds and uh, I don't know if this breakaway will go until the until the next climb or not but let's see I have the energy to hold on here and I'm not working so yeah let's see now Dilly is trying to get away from the peloton and I have to follow him but it seems that I cannot do it and I don't know if the peloton will let me go or not but let's just try it and see if I can catch Dilly although it seems that it's going to be difficult and so guys it seems that it's between me and Delia in the front we have two and a half minutes and now the peloton is starting to work but now we have five kilometers to the summit of this first category climb so this is awesome really because now we can um, we can fight at least for these points because there are 12 points available and I think I can do it let's just see how's Delia's energy and is about the same as we so that is okay and yeah and I don't know but I will let him do the work I think let's see and he's going to attack for sure so yeah let's maybe get some water before that but get ready for the attacks of course and the Delia is attacking I'm a bit behind in terms of responding to that but he's already here and he's attacking us again damn it come on Juan come on put the pace yourself come on and he's attacking he, he doesn't god damn it come on Juan come on and he's going for the win damn it and he wants the maximum points I didn't play this very well and therefore He's got 12 points, damn it. Let's see now the general classification of that jersey when it's going to appear. And yeah, we are now 56 points against that 77 of Delia. So yeah, we couldn't get closer, but we didn't. So let's see what is going to happen now. And so guys, more guys are joining us Ludvigsen, De Gendt and Lastra so yeah these are the contenders for the KOM classification and let's see if we can hang on here at least for the next climb and let's see if we can get the maximum points because I want to I want to get closer to Delia and uh, come on come on João and so guys the peloton is right here as well as you can see 20 seconds behind us this is not good so let's just put the rhythm let's follow the attack of Delia and see if that is possible and uh, come on guys come on this is our last chance to get more points today let's see if we can do it and oh my god I'm already getting out of red energy this is not good at all come on João push yourself please come on and I'm getting there I'm getting it come on João give everything you've got one kilometer to go and I'm getting out of red energy no let's put just 99 come on and I think I will do it please come on and yes I will thank God maximum points for us which is awesome let's see now on the classification 62 points against 81 of Delia so we are about the same difference I believe but uh, yeah we need to fight this until the end to get it and so guys last five kilometers we still have a lead so why not let's just try something here because we still have some lead and we have the energy and I forgot to use the energy gel damn it but yeah we are on the last kilometers and uh, oh my god can we do it we have 44 seconds 45 now come on Juan we are here the three in the front can we do it I think Delia is out of energy oh my god this is it last kilometer let's start the sprint with Joe Almeida and Delia is out of energy oh my god I cannot believe it we are going to do it 
Joao Almeida is the winner of stage number 5. Who would have thought of that really? What a win! And another win for Joao Almeida. It was a, a stage that was for the sprinters, but we got the win from the breakaway. Guys, really, full credit for the guys in the breakaway because they did all the job in the end. I never thought that uh, we could have a chance to, to fight for a victory, but in the end, the peloton did nothing and uh, we got the good advantage that we needed and therefore Joao Meda was the strongest in the end because he didn't work. And we got the win. Another win for Joao Meda on his record. Yeah, what a fantastic stage for us. And so guys, what an unexpected win for us, really. We won from the breakaway, I never thought of that really, but Joao Meda got in the end. And we got over one minute and a half from the peloton, which means we, we gained one minute to the, to the guys of the general classification. So let's see now where we at. Here we are on the 20th position, 2 minutes 14, so this is amazing. We are doing our objective right now, and uh, we can climb a little more even, who knows. And um, the sad thing is that we didn't gain ground on the KOM jersey we scored the same points as Dilly as we can see 20 points for each one which means we are still behind in terms of the points 21 points I believe so yeah right now is starting to get difficult to get those points because now that we are on the top 20 and so now I don't think it's going to be easy to go into a breakaway because now we are on the top 20 we are two minutes behind Shackman, so we are closer to him. I don't know if we going he's going to be able to go to the breakaway, but at least we're going to try and we're going to see what still they're going to do because if he can't go into the breakaway as well, that is good for us of course. And as you can see we have a lot of points available this uh, stage show. The the classification can be turned around for sure. And so guys as you can see we have a new row for Joao Maida on this stage. We are a border so we need to go to the breakaway and get some exposure. Which um, I mean I don't know if that's going to be possible but of course we're going to try because we have the KOM jersey for that. And uh, yeah let's see. And so guys here we are the first climb of the day. Let's see if we can get the maximum points against Dilie. And we have George Bennett as well, and George Bennett is better than us, I believe, so it's going to be hard, but we're going to try, of course. But they are getting, they are giving a fight, really? Come on, Joel. Damn it, come on. We are almost there. Still have one kilometer to go. But George Bennett still sprinting for it, damn it. But they are out of energy, and I have as well, so... Can I do it? Oh my god, yes, let's go. First place for us, which is awesome. We have 12 points. And the Delia just got third, I believe, so the, it's amazing. And so guys, basically it's everything together now. The peloton just catch the breakaway. We still have Three more climbs to do. Joao Maida does not have the best energy right now, which is not that great. And Dilia is going on the attack for the points, so I need to be careful. I need to go to the front because this is the first category climb. And uh, this is where are more points available and I cannot let those get away, at least for Dilia. So come on, Joao, please. At least go at the wheel of Dilia. And yeah. Delay now is attacking, let's try to follow him. Oh my god, this is looking very difficult, at least now, with uh, João Almeida. Come on, João, come on, Delia. You don't have the more energy, come on, just pause it, please. There we go, and myself as well, out of energy. Come on, João, come on, come on. At least ahead of Delia, that's all I want, really. And with this aerodynamic position, I think I will get it. At Oh my god, really? I just lost points for him. Let me just check. Oh no, thank god we were in the front. So yeah, we just, oh my god. Two points of a difference to Delia. 
that's not a good lead but we are still in the lead so just we're just trying to get ahead of him at every single climb and so guys we are on the last eight kilometers of the stage and of course i don't have the energy because of the breakaway work that i did and now the attacks are starting to appear i cannot follow that of course so i just need to go at my pace and see if i can hang on really and i think my top 20 is out with this situation really and so we are on the last kilometer let's see who's going for the victory it's basically a sprint and it is for Moberger from Bora Arsgorn and Serge Wigit on the second place and our teammate Florian Seneschal on the fourth place that is very good as well and so guys because of that result now we are on the 25th position four minutes down we are still close to the 20th position but it's already more than a minute away I don't think it's possible really and the, on the mountain we are first but just with one point of difference to Dillier so really it's going to be until the last stage where it's going to be decided and of course we have a, a lot of uh, intermediate sprints for the mountain as well so we need to take that advantage and so guys it's going to be on this last stage of tour of Poland that it's going to be decided the KOM jersey really because we just have one point of advantage and uh, I know that I'm close to the top 20 as well but really I need to choose and I think I want to choose the jersey the best climber classification because that's the one where we have advantage right now and that's the most possible thing to happen so let's go and try to do that what what the hell guys what the hell they want me to fight for the points classification even though we don't have any intermediate sprint and uh, let's see on the rankings we where we are and we are just very far away there, there is no possible way to get points today just on the finish line with 20 and uh, that's enough of course but I don't think we're going to win from the breakaway so I don't I don't understand this strategy but okay uh, I think uh, yeah why not but I'm going for the breakaway that's my objective today of course and let's go right away see if I can do it and so guys with that attack it put us on a great position we are in the front right now with the Tejada that is not a contender for the jersey Delia is behind which is great I, I know that is coming but and he's out of energy already so that is perfect of course let's just put our rhythm and a big rhythm we are on the last kilometer and we are going to score 12 points which is amazing of course let's hope that Tejada doesn't uh, just doesn't sprint and he's not going to do it so that is awesome so 12 points for us and now yeah this is a big moment because now we have a big advantage from Dilly I believe let's just see the classification yeah now we have more lead to him which is great and let's continue and so guys here we are last two and a half kilometers to the summit of this first category climb we have energy so let's just put a rhythm that's what I'm doing but we need to be careful for the attacks and already delay is attacking I need to follow him but he's with less energy than I am so this is great and yep maximum points for us there we go and Jans Peter just stole some points from Delia which is a bit hot so I don't mind we have now a, a decent lead which is awesome and already the next climb is here it is again a second category climb and uh, why not uh, once again put a rhythm with João Almeida because we have the, the energy for it and I think Delia is with less energy than we have so let's go one and a half kilometers to the summit the attacks are starting João Meda as well come on João Delia is not going to hang on for much longer I know that so come on let's just put a rhythm right now and see if that is possible Delia yes Delia out of energy and myself looking good in terms of energy in comparison so another 12 points for us and oh my god it's looking good right now 151 against 130 
so we have more than 20 points of a lead it's awesome really come on and so guys we are with the peloton already I just lost the contact with the Rayquay because I got out of energy and uh, let's see if I can recover in time just to at least stay in the peloton because the guys up front I don't think they are a danger to the jersey no more so which is a good thing of course and uh, I know that Dillier is behind as well so I think we are looking good with our jersey and so guys as you can see 163 points against the 130 of Dillier so at this jersey is ours there's no chance that Dillier can take this jersey from us so now so now let's just stay in the peloton regain the energy and uh, try to at least finish on a top 20 to see if I can uh, regain the top 20 of the general classification and now the attacks are starting from the favorite so I need to react to this at least so yeah they are going away let's just put a little of attack see if that is possible and just put a read on myself because yeah, now this is the time where everything is going to be decided and uh, I just want that top 20 really man so let's try to hang on here come on John come on I know you can do it and we are on the last 10 kilometers and here we are guys almost 5 kilometers to the finish line and yet the pace is going to be a bit high right now and of course the attacks are going to start I don't know where to use the energy gel but let's use it right now fuck it really come on and maybe just put a pace ourselves because I don't want these guys to go away but it seems that I cannot do nothing so let's just stay here with the group see if that is possible as we are entering the last 3 kilometers and I'm getting out of energy so I don't think I'm going to fight for the victory which is a bit of a shame really but that is okay of course at least we are here with the favorites and that's what's matter really and already out of energy with me so that is okay and the finish line is right there so come on and Tim Wellens is the one that is attacking with a big attack maybe he's going for the victory and I think he's going but no David Godu on the finish line just pass him I believe and, and oh my god all are just came through it and he's the winner I'm I lose some seconds but uh, I came on the 16th position so let's hope that we can get that top 20 of the overall classification that is just sweet if it happens and oh boy oh boy we did it let's go Joao made the 18th place on the overall classification we did the final objective that was the top 20 4 minutes 50 seconds down from the winner Maximilian Schachmann Tim Wellens on 2nd place 5 seconds and Nigita with 13 seconds on the 3rd place and of course we got as well the KOM jersey this is an additional thing that we have on this race so yeah in the end we got things very good for our side we did the objective and we have a jersey so that is amazing and of course in this stage we scored the most points and uh, on the this stage we finish on a 16th position which is awesome as well uh, and yeah I mean this is amazing really uh, I thought that we had this race lost with everything that happened but no we came through in the end and we got the objective done and that is amazing of course another jersey for us I cannot complain with that and uh, more points for us and so guys after this tour of Poland we have the Classica San Sebastian in Spain it is a hilly classic as you can see by the profile and then we're going once again to the Arctic race of Norway which again he have some hills so we can do something here who knows but yeah those two races are going to be for the next episode because for this one this is it I hope you like it in the end we got it through and we got some big uh, some big things and, and we even got a victory I almost forgot about that so we even got a stage victory from the breakaway so yeah it was a very good tour of Poland in my opinion and yeah this is it for now I hope you like it don't forget leave a like and a subscribe as always stay safe bye bye <laughs>